name is Mary Halverson. I'm a guitarist and composer, and I'm going to talk a little bit about writing one's own exercises on your instrument. This is something I really encourage because this way you can reinforce ideas that you've come up with yourself, which is really helpful in developing a unique voice on your instrument. And the thing about writing your own exercises is it doesn't have to be a complicated idea. It doesn't have to be some genius thing that you come up with. It can be a really simple idea. Anybody who knows my playing knows that I like to use a lot of open strings. The way I, I incorporated that into my language was basically one day I was just playing and hit a couple open strings and thought, oh, that, that sounds kind of cool. So, you know, instead of playing, I might have played. So I'm using them more as accents. The important thing, I think, is depth. So it's not just something I played and I thought, oh, that sounded kind of cool, I'm going to use that. But actually focusing and, and honing in on it and you know, spending a lot of time um, so you really absorb that and, and that can become part of your vocabulary. Practicing it with the metronome is great. So you're you know, just repeating, 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 coming up with the variations on it and really spending a lot of time so that that can be absorbed into your musical language. So I might spend a while playing around with, with the open strings, and I'll give an example of that. And so forth. You know, one thing that happened to me when I was in jazz school, I was just getting so much information thrown at me, so it, it would be, you know, at the end of the week you have to learn to play Cherokee, and, and for me, when I was first starting, there, there was so much information, it became really overwhelming. And one of the luxuries I have now of not being in school is I can really just focus. I can spend a whole week absorbing one chord, absorbing a couple scales, absorbing one simple concept, and, and I feel like, for me, things really stick. Another thing you can do with this type of concept is actually write down an etude exercise on the instrument. So for this open string idea, I did actually write out an etude on the guitar, which started out like this. So a great way to come up with this type of exercise is just to experiment, play around on your instrument. If you play something that you like, just focus on it for a while. Try to turn it into something. You could, if, you, if it's a little phrase that you played, you could play it through all the keys on your instrument. You could do themes and variations on whatever you played. So one more example is wide intervals. So this is something, also this can double as a technique exercise because often that's a little bit challenging to do on the guitar. Let's say I have an interval of a major 10th. So I'm gonna write a little exercise using that. So that would be the first step. And then for a picking technique on guitar to double up on each note. And then to triple up on each note. And now I'm gonna throw in some of the open string stuff that I was talking about earlier. And let's double up on that one. So for me, writing your own exercises is a great way to supplement the other stuff you're practicing and to really try to come up with some ideas that are coming from you.